Tony Joe here. Welcome back. Uh, I'm answering another quick question about thyroid. Uh, I've been getting a bunch of these because I've been talking about thyroid a little bit more. Uh, this question is from Sam. I'm uh, sorry, Sam. I don't know if you're male or female, but um, uh, Sam first says, please go back to making whiteboard videos. It makes it really easy to understand things. So here you go. Sam says, I've had higher than normal cholesterol, at least according to my doctor. And even though I have signs of hypothyroidism, my doctor says my thyroid is functioning normal. And we talked about in another video why, that, uh, why the typical uh, basic test from your doctor may not be accurate. Uh, I'll put the link to that video below this one. Um, may not be accurate, may not be enough. Uh, so she wants me to explain how it is that the thyroid could affect the, uh, her cholesterol or his cholesterol. Okay, so first of all, you've heard me talk about this before, but cholesterol is not an evil substance. It's uh, used for, for some uh, very vital functions in the human body. It's used to make all your steroidal hormones, sex hormones. It's used to synthesize vitamin D. It's used to make bile in your liver. So we're going to talk about that. When the thyroid is functioning properly, it's, and it's making enough thyroid hormone and will send a signal to cells in your liver to upregulate or express LDL receptors. So imagine that you have these receptors on the cell and these receptors are specifically made to catch LDL particles as they sort of swim by <laughs> or they flow by the, the cell. So when the thyroid is functioning properly, it will send a signal to the cells in the liver telling you to upregulate LDL receptors. And what you'll see is LDL receptors being expressed more when there's adequate thyroid function. Okay, and so what that's gonna do, it's gonna take out more LDL particles and more LDL cholesterol out of your blood and into the cell where it's then used to make bile. That's where most of the cholesterol in your blood is it's used. It's used to make bile in the liver. So the same thing is true in, say, your adrenal glands. Your adrenal glands produce cortisol. It's one of the hormones that the adrenal glands produce. And again, uh, those hormones require cholesterol in order to be made. Uh, cholesterol is a precursor to all those, all those hormones. And so uh, the thyroid, if it's functioning properly, again, it will send a signal to the adrenal glands, to the cells in the adrenal glands, and the, those cells will upregulate LDL receptors. It will take LDL out of the blood and use that cholesterol to make cortisol and other hormones. So when your thyroid isn't functioning properly, when you've got hypothyroidism, you're not making enough thyroid hormone, those cells, the cells in the liver, the cells in the adrenal glands, everywhere else, won't get that signal, and it will actually downregulate these receptors. So the receptors on these cells won't be expressed as much, which means you'll have more LDL cholesterol, more LDL particles floating around in your blood, um, and, and your doctor runs a typical cholesterol lab, freaks out because your LDL is elevated. Is it a cholesterol problem? Probably not. It may be a problem with thyroid. It may be a problem somewhere else upstream, but here's an example of uh, how thyroid can affect your cholesterol uh, in a way that uh, most doctors just aren't going to look into. So again, uh, low thyroid function means uh, the cells in the liver, adrenal glands, everywhere else, not getting the signal, downregulating those LDL receptors, meaning it's not taking that LDL cholesterol up into the cell to be used for those functions, which means those, that higher LDL cholesterol in your blood means your doctor may freak out that your cholesterol is high and want to put you on a cholesterol-lowering medication, which obviously is not treating the real problem. So I hope that answers that question. I've got a couple more I want to tackle, so I'm going to make some more videos. Uh, any more questions, leave a comment below, and I'll try and get to it. If I have time, I'll make some more videos too. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.